I'm going to talk about a problem that occasionally happens in Protege when you use a reasoner. What happens in occasion is that you will turn the reasoner on, like for now I'm classifying the ontology, and then after the reasoner has initialized and has classified the ontology, it'll turn out that Protege is sluggish. And it can actually be sluggish to the degree that Protege appears to have frozen. In this case, Protege is still usable, although somewhat slow. But in other cases, Protege may appear to freeze when you click on a on a class, and um, and it's not clear when it's going to come back. So um, this situation is a situation that you can often solve, and I will show you how to do it. So we're waiting for this reasoner to finish classifying. It's almost done. It's classified. So now I'm going to um, in here click around and click some classes. So I click this class. It takes a moment to get there and I click this one. It takes a moment to get to that one. Each click is taking a noticeable amount of time. Uh, in that case it took enough time that I wasn't sure whether I clicked or not. To click here, click here. So it's somewhat slow. The normal behavior of Protege, which I can see if I turn the inferences off, is much more responsive. I can click around and, and you get a, a, an immediate reaction. But when the inferences are being displayed, it's much slower. So there is a solution. You go to the Reasoner menu and you click on the Configure. And I'm going to resize this window to make them fit in the screen. In, in the Reasoner configuration, the first tab to come up is this Displayed Inferences. And you can control which inferences are displayed. Now in this case, you know, so unsatisfiability, I've spent a lot of time in total in unsatisfiability, 73 milliseconds, but this is not enough to really be noticeable from the user interface. Um, per click, it's or per unsatisfiability thing um, retrieved, it's been zero milliseconds. And so these first few guys are actually pretty fast. Unsatisfiability and equivalent classes, super classes, class members. But I come down here to disjoint classes. This inference is usually turned off and one of the reasons is it often is slow. Uh, another reason is, is that it's a, um, a hard inference to understand. It's uh, the, the answers that the reasoners come up with are often non-intuitive and a little difficult to, to understand. So but here what's happened is, is I've spent 20 seconds, 24 seconds altogether doing disjoint classes inference and one second on average per click. So every time I click a class it figures out the disjoint classes and it takes about one second to do that and that explains the delay that I was seeing. So I can uncheck this, I can turn them off and this is the default is that disjoint classes don't show by default and I go OK. And now I wait for a moment because um, Protege is recalculating uh, its display when I do this and I click around and I find that Protege is responding readily to my clicks. I can move between classes in a more normal way and I'm still getting the inferences that I had that the ones that I had not disabled. So I hope this is useful and um, I will talk